Today I am sharing some of my favorite Dollar Tree Fall DIYs that is perfect to try for fall of 2021. Fall is my favorite time to craft here on my channel. I always get so inspired and excited to see what all of the stores are putting out as well as just creating tons of content here on my channel. Make sure you leave me a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any more fall content coming your way. And let's go ahead and get on into these projects. For this first DIY, I picked up one of these Dollar Tree chargers and I started by painting it white. I love painting like plastic or glass pieces just like this one. This is plastic uh, with chalk paint. I just feel like it puts a nice hold on it and it doesn't scratch off as easy as using regular acrylic paint. And then I wanted the center to be a different color because I am going to be decorating this in the middle and I wanted everything to pop off so I used a glass trivet from Dollar Tree just to use as a guide to trace around that and get the perfect circle and then went in with some medium color gray paint. This is called Steel and I felt like it was the perfect shade. It was light enough to let what I decorate on top of it pop off but not too dark. And then one of these wooden pumpkins, I traced a piece of scrapbooking paper that had this gorgeous black and white gingham pattern on there and then Mod Podged it down. I have discovered that using just a regular Elmer's like orange glue stick works a lot better whenever you are gluing down scrapbooking paper to flat surfaces like this. I feel like you get a lot less wrinkles. So I would recommend that and you could Mod Podge over that if you were scared. It still wasn't going to hold as strong. I added in a little raffia bow and then had this adorable little metal heart left over from Valentine's Day from a Dollar Tree sign and kind of stuck that in the bottom corner. And then I love Dollar Tree's rub on leather. They have so many different fonts out right now, so I always pick up a ton of them when I see them, and I spelled out fall is my favorite, and I think it turned out really cute. And this beach trying to kind of hand write on it. I always hate handwriting on my own decor pieces. I feel like you can just definitely tell it's more like I made it versus looking more neat and put together, um, and then give it a finishing touch with a black paint marker. I just kind of went around the circle and give it a little bit of that cutesy touch to it but loving how this turned out. This was a really fun project. Dollar Tree always puts out like unique decor pieces and they had these little MDF signs out all the time. So I'm sure you can find this item or something similar to it, but I wanted to stack these pumpkins up. I love how they have the round top and the flat bottom. So they're gonna stand up really well. So I thought it'd be fun to glue these together, paint them different colors and kind of make like a one piece set. You could personalize this and put your last name or your family name on there. But I painted the outside pumpkins orange and then the center one white and then give them some extra detail by adding in some brown paint. I wanted to put little stems on them so I'm using my miter shears just to kind of trim up a piece or a stick that I found in the yard and I'm going to be gluing that to the top and then like I said to add in that extra shading I'm adding the original color and then taking a little bit of brown to give it that extra pop of detail and kind of making it have that pumpkin shape to it. I use hot glue on most of my projects just for convenience and timing. But um, if you, if this is something you wanted to create, you could use some wood glue on here for a longer lasting hold. And then once again, getting out my favorite little rub on transfers and spelling welcome to our patch. And like I said, you can personalize this, but I thought this was so cute. And I also mixed the fonts. So these were two different sets of rub on transfers from Dollar Tree and then adding in the extra raffia. And um, I found these little wooden leaves at the Dollar Tree. I 
I'm so happy that Dollar Tree carries these glass containers year round. I use these all the time, but I thought it would be fun to kind of make a lid and a stand to create this from just being like a little glass piece to an actual decor piece. And I could fill it up with some of my favorite uh, fall items that I'm finding. So I picked up one of these wooden circles. This was actually a wreath charm that Dollar Tree sells, but they do have other wood circle options. I painted it brown as well as a wooden bead that I already had on hand. I did fill in the holes with some wood filler and then for the base I picked up this two pack of wooden circles from Hobby Lobby but you can use just another Dollar Tree wooden circle and I went ahead and painted that. I didn't want it to just look like the wooden lid was just setting on top. I wanted it to look like it was actually like a custom lid. So I decided to take some nautical rope and glue a couple of strands around the top. And I made sure to not glue it to the glass so this will actually be a functioning lid. I'll be able to pull it off of there but it is a nice snug fit. So it does work perfect for this. And then glue down the bead, touched up any scratches or places that I didn't get to paint. And then and I found this pine cone and pumpkin filler from Hobby Lobby, but they sell this in small packs at Dollar Tree right now. So I'm sure that you can find some. And then I decided to go in and add these lights. And I'm so happy I did because it only took a few seconds to add these in and it really just makes it pop. There's just something about lighted fall decor. I put it everywhere in my home. I always want to add lights to everything, but I just feel like it gives it a warm, cozy look. And then to make this go more with like rustic farmhouse, I just dry brushed over this with some mineral color paint and loving how it gives it that extra detail. And then doing this camouflages in a lot of the mistakes or um, places of the woods not perfect. This is one of my favorite fall DIYs. I love using puzzles for DIYs so much. I just picked up a square decor piece from Dollar Tree and I wanted to give it a complete makeover. So first I'm going to be covering the background with some of this faux wood uh, scrapbooking paper. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby and just mod podging that down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paint the picture frame brown. I love adding in so many details such as dry brushing so I just took the extra minute to go ahead and use some paint to just dry brush over the frame it gives it more of like a faux wood look and then gluing down the scrapbooking paper Now it was time for the fun part. I picked up a cheap puzzle. Um, they have different sizes. Make sure you kind of find more of like a lower count. Um, you don't want to get like a thousand pieces and the pieces be too tiny. But I found this one and then dry brushed or I'm doing more than dry brushing but I'm not worrying about getting it perfect but painting these with my orange paint and then I'll be able to stack them up in the shape of a pumpkin. And then I'm just going for it and freehanding this pumpkin. If you're worried about it, you definitely can print something off. You can trace just any wood flat Dollar Tree pumpkin. But I just freehanded it and then went ahead and painted in the stem. I did it extra long because I knew I would be stacking the puzzle pieces up. And I just was worried. Um, I wanted it to match the size of the pumpkin and then filled all of this in with the puzzle pieces. I quickly made a little jute twine bow and then I had picked up this little pack of wooden words from 
um, Hobby Lobby, but I know that they are putting out wood words at Dollar Tree or they have metal words all the time, but I feel like this turned out so adorable. This would be such a fun craft. You can involve the family or your kids, but just something really cute and whimsical kind of to display it this fall. Next up, hopefully this gives you a really cool idea. If you want to grab some of these wooden frames from Dollar Tree right now, they always carry these in the summertime, so it's fun to pick them up whenever they are kind of like clearing out summer because you can use these for fall. So I found these and I thought they looked like sunflowers. So I thought it would be fun to transform these into like a sunflower decor piece. So at first I mixed some yellow and brown paint and went ahead and painted over the wooden frames and then I didn't like how dark it was. So I did take some extra yellow paint and went over that and then I'll be using the darker paint just as my shading around the edges. If you have some yellow spray paint, you might want to start with that. I feel like it would have been a lot easier to get around the edges and all of those little small spaces with some spray paint. And then to do the center, I took the wooden circle that I was able to pop out of the back of the frame and then trace some burlap fabric around there. And I thought this looked too cute and was exactly what I was going for, popping that back in the middle. And then, like I said, just using the darker color that I had already kind of mixed up to make some little extra details around the edges. They were cute as is, but I love taking a paint marker and adding extra detailing around the edges and I just feel like it made it pop. And then I attached these to some wooden dowel rods that I also picked up from the Dollar Tree and then I'll be able to stab these down into the styrofoam. And Dollar Tree also has out right now the cutest little metal buckets, so make sure you look for those as well. I think it's fun to mix different florals. So with my wooden sunflowers, I went ahead and stuck in some little lamb's ear that I picked up from Walmart, as well as some of these gorgeous green flowers that I found at Dollar Tree. And I feel like these look so beautiful together and the yellow just really pops out. Next up, I am using some of these wooden boxes or these little wooden drawers, but just the inside. So I've already used the outside part for different projects and I wanted to put some letters on here, but I needed them to pop off. So I gave it one coat of the brown and also whenever I dry brush over the orange on there, then the brown will show through and it'll look like distressed kind of. So looking or going for that look, I took some poster letters or poster stickers and went ahead and spelled out fall on the blocks and then painted over that with some of my orange chalk paint. I tried to make sure that I painted over the letter really well so that it would really have crisp lines and then for the rest of the box or pumpkin I just kind of dry brushed over that so some of the brown would show through. I would recommend pulling off your letters while the paint is still wet. I let some of them dry too long and the sticker wanted to stick so even the backing so you could tell I was trying to peel up the white paper and then taking my miter shears once again and some little tower blocks from Dollar Tree I cut them down a little bit so that they would make the perfect size stem and then using a variety of like leaves these burlap leaves came from Dollar Tree I also picked up a pack of these fake leaves and just stacked them on top put some berries and sunflowers and this just added in extra color and details and I just feel like it completely made over the project and made it look not so plain Thank you. 
I feel like these turned out adorable. I'll be so excited to get to decorate with these, but just that perfect pop of orange color and just a really fun way to incorporate all of the leaves and the pumpkins and the sunflowers and just loving how it turned out. Another all-time favorite was making this DIY wooden fence. I love this so much. Dollar Tree has these little wooden arrows right now as well, so they've kept them in stock for a long time. I see them, I see the shelves full at my Dollar Tree all the time, so I don't know if they're not super popular or they just um, don't sell as well. I'm not sure, or maybe they just are easy to make, but they have these a lot. So I wanted to make a fence with these. I had the perfect shape. They were the perfect size. I did take a little wooden stake from Walmart that I found back in the hardware section that you're supposed to put up like a for sale sign on in the yard, and I was able to cut that down and that was the piece I used to hold all of these together because at Dollar Tree I do struggle sometimes to find pieces that are like a nice quality wood but are big enough for the project I want to do. So I went ahead and gave this a full coat of like my truffle brown paint. I use chalk paint every time that I can and then I covered all of the fence up so then whenever I painted over it with the white it did show through and then these did have words on them so covering this with multi colors of paint does kind of camouflage all of that in and if you don't let your brown completely dry you do get it to mix a little bit so just keep layering on top of the white paint and then I found this family sign in the fall section so I wanted a stained look and sometimes I don't always love using real stain because it is stinky and I love just keeping working in my crafting room and not running my projects outside so to get that same stained look without the smell I love to use a wax which like a darker wax and it just looks so gorgeous and even on this MDF, I just feel like it makes it look more like stained wood rather than if you just painted it brown. These are my favorite fall floral stems. They have these at Walmart, very inexpensive but gorgeous. They have the berries, the little olives on there the greenery, the raffia, and a small little pumpkin. So, so adorable. I just placed these together and they make the perfect little piece to put at the top. I decided to corner mine and just glued everything down and I just loved how it turned out. I feel like this is a gorgeous piece. It could go with any type of decor. You could make your pumpkins orange if you're in more for like traditional colors, but I just love how this turned out. I feel like Kirkland's always has like the most gorgeous centerpieces, but they are super pricey. So you can see this piece was $70 and I knew I could get the same look on a very cheap budget. So I went to Dollar Tree and the only way I could find to get a large wooden box like this is to connect a bunch of these smaller boxes. So I ended up using six of them, glued them together. I tried to make this my own version. So I was into more of like the neutrals and the whites. Um, so that's what I decided to go with, but you can make this look more like the Kirkland's one if you want. I wanted the sides not to have those big holes on the edges. So I took a couple of popsicle sticks and glued those over that. So everything would be like camouflaged in. This is another project, if you have like gray spray paint on hand, you might wanna use that. It was a little tricky to paint all of the inside with the paintbrush, but I needed a platform like to hold up all of my pumpkins and the glass candle holders. So first I started by taking some styrofoam and putting it down inside all of these boxes and then gluing my little board on top. And um, obviously you wanna make sure that it does not stick out from your boards. And then this was the perfect size because I was able to tuck down in my florals all the way around it while it did hold up my pumpkins and stuff. I did decide to go ahead and paint it the same gray just to make sure it wasn't going to 
pop out and you wouldn't be able to see that I had a board down there. The burlap leaves look so beautiful with the burlap pumpkins. I tucked them all the way around and then just really kind of played around with it and seen what looked good. I tucked in some white berries and some lambs here and these tiny little sunflowers are my favorite so I tried to incorporate some of those but you really can't go wrong here. Just kind of play around with it and see what you like but I feel like the more full that it looks the more beautiful it is and I think this has such like a high-end look. It didn't cost me very much at all and I definitely didn't have to spend the $70. Next up, I wanted to make a little pumpkin hanger. So using a small board, I am using last year's calendars. So they are already putting out the 2022 calendars. If you find them, grab a few of them because that's something that I'm gonna be crafting with soon, very soon. And they have the most beautiful designs on them. So it's so much fun using these. It helps out so much rather than looking for art online or trying to paint something yourself. But I feel like this farmer's market sign worked perfect here it wasn't long enough so that's why I'm cutting the small little pieces for the ends and then glued that all down together and then I decorated the pumpkin I had this really cool idea to use an oval and a piece of wood from the Dollar Tree that's in the shape of an oval for the middle. It wasn't as tall as I needed it, but I decided to put a bow on top, but I did cover this with a piece of scrapbooking paper and I feel like it just gave it that extra detail. It made it look so beautiful. I didn't want the top to look so perfect and then the bottom of this sign all be hand painted like the pumpkin. It makes it look crisp and nicely done and just love how using scrapbooking paper get you that perfect look every time and then for the back of the pumpkin I painted it white and then give it a little bit of distressing with a tiny bit of gray paint And then all I had to do was put together a really quick little burlap bow. I glued the wooden oval on there and then I was able to attach the pumpkin to the sign using some wire that I had on hand. I just drilled a couple of holes and then I drilled some holes at the top and added in a nautical rope hanger so that I could hang this on the wall. But this is really cute. Like I said, I did use the calendar, but you can substitute this, use a Dollar Tree stickers or hand paint it, but just a really fun idea hanging the pumpkin down from this sign. I picked out another calendar art piece that I wanted to use. They have so many gorgeous images in these calendars. And I picked out a plain pumpkin one that I knew I could add some 3D pieces to, and I'm gonna be putting it on this square sign. I did take off the 3D pieces um, just to make sure that everything was gonna lay nice and flat. And then I thought this white pumpkin was gorgeous. So I just started by going ahead and Mod Podging this down. Whenever you do attach your image or any paper to wood, I always like to use sandpaper to kind of get the excess off. It gives you a nice clean finish or edge. And then using some more of these Hobby Lobby wooden words, I also put some more of the little wooden leaves and just kind of decorated it until I really liked it. I did darken the word with some antique wax before gluing that down. I 
I thought it would be cute for the leaves to kind of hang down on the top of the from the top of the pumpkin to kind of look like charms and I spray painted them so they look kind of like metal I wasn't going for them to look metal but that's how they turned out so I think it's really cute I just love that textured look glued them down in place but they do look like they're just hanging there added a twine bow to the top and then I wanted this to have more of a finished look and I felt like without a frame it just kind of look like it needed a frame so I ended up cutting down some wood and I always use the Walmart paintster sticks these are very inexpensive easy to cut down and they take stain very well I love how I was able to not have to take these out and use a saw to use them, but I was able just to kind of score them with my utility knife. And I always do this on like the thick Dollar Tree mats because I don't care to ruin them because they're just a dollar. Cut them down to size. Even though I do place these together and glue them down, I do put some popsicle sticks on the back to make sure that those seams are gonna hold nice and tight. Now I am back to using the wooden drawers, but this time I'm going to be using the bigger outside piece and save those middle blocks for another project. I am once again using my antique wax. I love using this so much and getting that stained look. And go ahead and giving this a couple of coats um, to give it that nice dark wood look and then completely let those dry before I start putting in my candles. So I cut down my styrofoam and put it in the boxes so the candles will have something to kind of be elevated on. And I found these really cool emergency LED candlesticks from the Dollar Tree and they have this base that pops in and out so you're able to glue them down on your craft but you're able to kind of easily pop them off and change the batteries. So then to cover all of that up, I am using some Spanish moss and tucking down in that. And then I'm gonna be adding in some different pieces. Now I picked up this little vine from Hobby Lobby, Lobby, but they have them at Dollar Tree here and there so you can look for that and then I have these little Dollar Tree pumpkins I used orange and white but you can make this more neutral with just the white or um, just keep making this more of a traditional fall decor piece but I love that pop of orange all throughout my home as well as mixing it in with decor that actually lights up. I love that. I put the little lamb's ear in the back and then twisted a little bit extra of the vine just to kind of make the candle blend in, blend in even more. And then for the little handles, um, Dollar Tree has some wired rope. I just tied little knots at the end and attached that to the side. But these are adorable and something that you could easily trade the pumpkins out with presents to go on into Christmas. I love making signs and crafting signs and larger decor pieces so I picked up one of these circles this was um, available in the summertime so they have a few of these lingering in the Dollar Tree stores but any circle would work I am going to be flipping mine over and whenever I do this I do like to cover the back so I might end up painting this or covering it with some brown craft paper but I hate leaving that ugly side just in case anyone was to see it but for this project, I started by painting it a lighter shade of gray and then dry brushing over it with this darker gray color. And all of my decor on here is kind of going to go um, horizontally. So that is the way that I am painting on this darker gray. And 
and Hobby Lobby has these trucks out right now. I know Hobby Lobby is always super early to put out their fall decor, but a very inexpensive piece that is so much better than having to try to paint the truck or make it yourself using dollar store items. So I picked one of those up and I wanted it to be the focal point. So I am going to be putting that on the circle, but I wanted it to pop off. So I took some popsicle sticks and kind of created a little tile look by piecing them together and that way they would fit and all look like they were made for that sign. Even though I painted this white and it kind of blends in together, I love how the popsicle sticks are pieced together and that texture shows up. So then I painted the blessed word the same coordinating color so I can put that at the top and it'll really pop off of that darker gray. And then I wanted to make a bow using this gray and white buffalo check pattern. I will link this down below. I purchased it from Amazon, but it is such a wide ribbon that has wire in it and that those are so much easier to shape and make really pretty and you get more of like a full look. So I just do my easy loop method and tie them all together, make an extra piece for the little tails and then kind of cut them so they have more of a decorative touch. And then I added in a piece of jute and just hung this from a shelf, but it is definitely one of my favorite pieces. Another all-time favorite is this larger sign that I made a little wagon with pumpkins in. So I love this so much, something I'll definitely put out from year to year. And you can customize this once again to be your style or your color or the colors you use for fall. But using two of the rectangular summer signs, I pieced those together with popsicle sticks, filled in the little holes, and then painted this white. I always like to take the extra second to go ahead and fill in that middle crack. I am going to be distressing that and lots of things are going to blend and you're not going to be able to see, but just take a couple of extra minutes to get all the holes filled in and it just looks a lot nicer. So using one of these small little dream signs from Dollar Tree, it's super colorful. I just flipped it over on the back and actually that 3D word worked out perfect um, because I'm going to be making this 3D anyways because the little pumpkins are going to stick in the back. So I took a pair of scissors and rounded the edges so it did have more of like a cute cutesy wagon shape and then painted that with some brown paint. So for the wheels, I actually ended up using these mason jar lids. They were super silver and shiny, so I did take some of my elephant color and kind of dab all over them to get them a little bit more of a galvanized look. I love using actual real pieces as much as I can, so I am just piecing together a tower block and a zow rod for the little handle that you pull. And then to get some bigger pumpkins, I'm pulling apart one of these hanging signs and then using the small little craft pack to put some little pumpkins in the front. And for my choice of colors, I am going more of like the green scale on this. Um, so that's what I painted my colors or my pumpkins. And then I'm going to go back in with some brown and kind of just use use that to give them the extra detail in the shape of the pumpkin. I love whenever it doesn't look perfect and it's kind of messy like this. I just think it's really cutesy. It makes it look more crafty. And then I paint the stem a little bit darker and then doing that 
the same thing for the white pumpkin, but it is a little tricky on the white. It's super dark, so I do have to try to dab my brush off as much as possible. And then Dollar Tree has out these really cool little picks with the greenish blue leaves. I am loving those colors right now, and I was able to kind of tuck those down in the back and the front to make this look really full, but I loved how it turned out. I ended up only using one of the little white pumpkins in the front and then adding all the extra little decorations and the bows and then I wrapped the top and the bottom of the sign in some jute twine and I just feel like this completed the look it gave it extra detail and I just think it's so cute it's definitely one of my favorite things I know I keep saying that but I love this project The wooden crates are one of my favorite pieces that Dollar Tree has out, so I'm always excited to use them. They are a little tricky to paint though if you are using a paintbrush. So I am using some spray paint. I love this like kind of mocha color and then glue all of them together to look like a larger crate. This is the best part and something I want to be trying more of very soon, but using the little wooden cubes from Dollar Tree, I actually drilled a hole in them so that I could string them for some garland and it actually worked out really, really cute. And then I spelled out the word harvest. I used some Dollar Tree beads to kind of add some color in between them, but just a really cool idea that you could like make your own like wood garland or add little tassels off of the side of a vase, but these little wooden blocks with a hole in them just open up so many more things things that you can do with them and it was pretty easy to get that hole in there. Because I used a Sharpie um, or permanent marker, it did bleed a little bit on this raw wood. So if you have an extra second, go ahead and put a layer of Mod Podge. It will dry clear. You'll be able to see the wood underneath, but it won't let that permanent marker bleed on your blocks. It still turned out really, really cute. I love the pop of the orange in the garland and then put some more of my favorite little Walmart uh, floral picks in there with the pumpkin. So I feel like it coordinates really well. And a really cool project idea that you can actually make for year round, just don't put a pumpkin on it, was I picked up one of these laundry baskets from Dollar Tree and painted it with this dark bronze hammered spray paint. This stuff is really tough and it gives it a really cool look. So it definitely looks higher end. Just let it dry um, completely overnight. I like to before putting any blankets or anything in there. And then once again, picking up a really cute little sign at Hobby Lobby. Um, these are also really inexpensive expensive and it's already adorable easy to use and you don't have to paint it yourself so it just kind of act like a little charm on the front fill this up with a throw and some blankets but looks really cozy on the fireplace Thank you all so much for watching and letting me share all of my favorite fall Dollar Tree DIYs. I cannot wait to put out some more fall content. I feel so inspired and excited to crank out a ton of more fall videos. Be sure to leave me a big thumbs up. Thank you all again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting. Bye.